IndyCar career. A real gentleman. Everyone appreciates Simon, and he's having a wonderful run today. As he comes onto the stretch, Kevin Cogan in front of him. Good day for Simon. Boy, it really is. You know, here's Dick Simon, and I know you're happy. You had the, the device on today to register your heart rate and everything. I'm sure it went right through the roof when you got down to those final laps. Oh, it probably really did. I was saying prayers all the way through it, and a couple of times we tagged wheels, Kevin Cogan and I, and I believe Steve Chassis and I, trying to get through the traffic. The car was handling superb. I really owe it to a crew. We got here Friday, lost oil all day, blew an engine, changed the engine all night long, put another engine in, and barely, we felt, uh, did a fantastic job, barely getting into the show, although 15th, not barely, with 40 cars here. <laughs> but we're so proud. It's a brand new March. We haven't had much testing on it, and look out the rest of the year, because we're going to get some testing now. I tell you, here's the oldest driver in the field, and he's talking like one of the youngest. I know he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, a lot of people have said at 50, you ought to quit, Simon, but they better try saying it now, and they're not going to get that answer, I guarantee you. <laughs> Congratulations, Dick. All right, Paul, here's a very happy man. Dick Simon, Indy race car driver, has one of the most exciting, glamorous, and dangerous jobs in the world. Professional motor racing never lacks for excitement, but sometimes you get a little more than you bargain for. That's what happened recently to veteran driver Dick Simon. We're at the Riverside International Raceway in Southern California. Dick Simon, in car number 22, is on his 66th lap of the annual Air Cal 500. He's in fifth place and coming on strong. As he hits the back straightaway, Simon accelerates to 190 miles an hour. That's when something punctures his left rear tire and the incredible happens. cockpit is intact. Some engine components and fiberglass thrown into the cockpit as the debris was cleared from the track. However, the cockpit is intact, and for that reason, the driver, Dick Simon, is also intact, but one heck of a scare. What the heck happened? Well, Gary, we were running really strong, and we thought if we lasted the race, we'd finish fifth or sixth. We were running about fifth at the... 